So it looks like there are some specific inevitables, uh, machines that have names and identities that will be a group boss battle, uh, maybe. Dorsam, bringing, bringer of law to chaos, although as zealous as the other Zelikut and pursuing those who escape justice, Dorsam is concerned with educating those transgressors about what they did wrong. He is one of the main proponents of the redeemed and spends all his time with them. Dorsam defends the redeemed with the life, refusing to let them come to any harm, no matter what their deeds convince they can be turned to good. Dubar, master of submission, charged of enforcing agreements of fury or sur surrender, <clears throat> Dubar was assigned to the garrison to help any agents of evil who surrendered or decided to walk with a path of redemption. Unfortunately, none of the prisoners ever made this choice willingly, so Dubar eventually made the choice for them. Forming the redeemed, he is the notable who is going to going the furthest from his original programming, slipping into the methodology of the ends justifying the means. Uh, Faster, the ending, Astral, the last, and Taurus, who seeks without ceasing. Uh, I guess these three uh, inevitables are treated as one and were created together and think of themselves as siblings, though such a concept is tough to apply to constructs. They were assigned to the dungeon to stop any of the prisoners uh, from extending their lives beyond a reasonable length but the casualties of the garrison suffered and the damage the ward suffered has the efforts of the moderate stained. Now they simply take their turn standing watch of the other celestials, their true purpose going unfulfilled. <clears throat> Morsak, slayer of the falsehood, while Morsak hunts those who escape justice like a zelkut, he prefers to hunt liars he has an uncanny knack for detecting falsehood and views everyone with suspicion, even other garrison members. He is paranoid but generally does not act on his paranoia unless given cause. Of the Zelkuts, he is possibly the most balanced because of fulfill his programming. Despite his paranoid tendencies, he is not likely to trust the PCs under any circumstance unless he knows them for at least six months with no sign of treachery. Persol, slayer of unliving, while no Marats like undead, Persol spends more time hunting them than the other Marats in the garrison. He actively hunts the shadows in the southern reaches of the region, usually doing so alone. He is not on watch over the inevitables. He maintains the strongest set of ideals and spends much of his time with other celestials instead of the inevitables, finding the mindset more agreeable. Preason, ad, ad, educator to the host, master of laws and legal history in the garrison, he helps Tekharas settle disputes among the members in the garrison. Preason is more a scholar than a warrior of all the inevitables, is said anxious to leave the dungeon while his sense of duty keeps him here. He has no interest in glorious death surrounded by the corpse of his enemies. Preason carries one of the ward slaves when it is not in use. Sinar, keeper of the list, historian of the garrison. Sinar keeps a list of all those who have fallen in the line of duty. He spends much of his time recording every minute detail of the garrison's daily life. Sinar is overtly upbeat and tries hard to convince everyone that the daily grind of keeping the garrison's records is really interesting. He longs for the days of recording great battles and the deeds of heroes, not how many hours each member of the garrison spends changing wards. Of the surviving celestials, he is most interested in finding the all door so that the hidden library may be reached. Oh man, this guy's actually trying to get to that library that we already passed. Well, that's kind of funny. That is kind of funny.